Hey everybody, Pastor Brad here. Once again, another midweek update. Let me dive right in to give you an update on our regathering plan. As you know, we tentatively had planned to regather on August 1 and 2, and that's just a few weeks away. It was dependent on some key metrics. Our elders met this last week, and we've decided not to regather on that particular day. Now, for some of you, this news is going to be disappointing, and you were hoping to hear something different. But I want to assure you this decision is not made lightly at all. So let me give you a little bit of background, a little insight into how we came to this decision and what the next steps are. Uh, all along, we have said we wanted to create as safe an environment as we possibly can prior to regathering our church family together. And uh, there's been a whole team that have been working really diligently and in many ways, uh, we're ready to go. We're ready to launch from, a, from a, keep creating that as safe environment as we possibly can. But there are some things that are out of our control. This virus and uh, the breadth of its uh, explosion within our state and the number of people, new cases, particularly we've been looking at this metric of new hospitalizations. And uh, those are out of our control, but they've been kind of uh, what we've, we've looked to. And so uh, there are many good signs. It looks like that maybe is leveling out or even coming down a little bit, but we did not meet our goal that we had placed in place to see it decline over a longer period of time. So at this time, we're gonna regather a little later in August and we'll be sure to keep you up to date as best we can on that date as we know it. Uh, you can uh, check on our website, copperhills.org slash regathering to get the latest information. But every week we'll come to you in this midweek update or if there's some significant change, we'll break in and uh, we'll tell you, we wanna keep you uh, up on the latest information. Uh, let's talk for just a second. For some of you, this news comes actually as a relief. You're relieved what we've decided to do. For others, there's disappointment. And we understand that, we really do. Copper Hills has uh, got this unique quality uh, of a real genuine community. We think of it as a family. And so the inability to regather maybe affects us more profoundly than maybe the average church because that's been one of the hallmarks of our family. And so we're especially aware of this need, this longing, this desire to be together. Do you know we have that as well as leaders? There is an urgency in us to gather our church family back together again. We know there are many views on this. Some would say we should have done this earlier. Some are saying glad that you're waiting. Uh, but I wanna assure you of this, this decision that we've made has not been made out of fear. We are absolutely confident in what Jesus is leading us toward. This is his church, it isn't ours. And so we really trust his leadership. We think he has his hands around this and we're in the best possible place, the safest possible place we could be with him. We're also convinced of this, that we really can't make a mistake in this when we're in his care and that he intends actually to make us stronger as a community, stronger as a family on the other side of this than we even were on the front side of this. So this is the confidence we have, it isn't fear. It's compassion, it's concern, like a family would have for each other. And that's the primary motive for our decision at this point. So I wanna thank you again for your faithfulness, your patience, your unwavering prayer for our community as a whole, and especially us as staff as, and elders. We're so grateful for that. This is a remarkable church family. We love leading. You make it easy for us to lead. You're affirming and encouraging, and we wanna be the kind of leaders to you that model courage, compassion, and trust in our Savior. So here we go, another couple of weeks maybe, we'll see how it works out. But for this week, may you live under the blessing of a really good God. Have a great week, everybody.